Phoenix. With wow. a very greedy draft here. What a spicy draft overall. Things start pretty standard and stagnant, but inning stage, and as we saw in the last match, that can very quickly backfire. Perev getting pushed back, but in the mid lane, QO going in on to Zeus. This could be your first blood. Ryzen with a successful rotation, has that tomato. And Dire Mag caught by some searing chains. They know it's on cooldown. Maybe they'll have a go at QO. No easy way to stop the Spirit Breaker. Goes charging in, but there's the Earth Spike. QO getting aggressive once more. He's getting it blown up. The finger finishes off the Ember Spirit for Reb on the run, but gets brought down by Fuzzy Wuzzy. A one for two here on the Radiant side of the map. Two. So Ooh. now he can easily go on the assault. Ursa typically has that trouble being able to run at whoever he Dyer's wants because he wants to be in your face, and a Blink Dagger certainly it does help. And life. he can go as aggressive as he wants because he does have the Aegis at the ready. March initiated on by Lil. Out comes the Ancient Seal, silences him down. Illidan tried to finish him off, finds it. QO now stunned as he initiates. Locked down, tries to remnant away, will live for now. Ryzen on the run, swapped back, taking a lot of auto attacks. The Untouchable not going to save you from the Fury Swipes. Chains by QO some space. But that Blink Dagger up in about one second. Illidan continue forward. Earth Shock, a few more auto attacks. Find the kill. It's a triple for Illidan as Aces Polar, Polar pull ahead eight to three. Illidan already with that silence. Terrible. It had really nothing he could do. No turn back, no sunder, no nothing for you. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at these graphs and see how things are faring. MVP for the first time in this game behind by a good little bit. About 1,500, uh -oh, 4,000 uh -oh. experience. Oh, go back. He gets caught out, stunned. Burst from the lightning. Yeah, Forever is going to go down. And the assault continues from yeah. the Aces. Uh oh, oh Illidan, he's not done yet. Finds Heen, gets stunned up, but the wave of terror brings him down. It's a fast super nil. Looking at the radiant vision here, their jungle's completely blind. They thought Aces Polo were back on their side of the map farming. Little did they know they're staying here and keeping the aggression on. FNG left behind. Maybe it's bait. Nope, goes down to that one last impetus. Mag looking for vengeance for his fallen comrade. Charges forward, charges up the nether strike, laying in the auto attacks. Illidan gets here as another bash smacks her in the face. QO comes flying in. His buddy March nearby. He's got the metamorphosis form on, but does not have Sunder at level 8. Illidan goes man mode, actually goes down, but they find the kill on the Terra Blade. Now it's not done yet. In comes the. Uh, into a frog and QO may well live trying to turn it around back onto Mag forever and a little hardy duking it out on the backside. Mag forced to run away, does have a couple of earn charges here, and I think he'll be okay. Lil Hardy not gonna be so lucky. Or Willie concussive, slowing down the axe. Now forever. Well, getting punished. Keen comes in to finish off the kill. Swap back, Ferev will fall. Keen trying to drain some mana. He's going to get punished as well. This is just one long fight here, Dakota, as Ryzen and QO come back in. It just does not stop. Now FNG looking to tussle, and, well, they dance around the trees. FNG, the long ball impetus coming on through. That one will take him out. Oh, very low, but the Remnant will finish it on off. QO able to get himself onto the board now, looking to step on back, but it just does not stop. Here comes this go-around. Very, very scary here for MVP Polar. Looking damn good right now. March does manage to, of course, finish out that top Mantis lane. style. But top lane, there's the jump. DK Phobos is going to be the one that possibly in trouble. Nice stun set up right there. And the finger, the cherry on top to take down that little little bearded man. Yeah, Ryzen and Heen both going to TP out. FNG almost closes the gap, but can't get there for the magic the missile. Mag charging on over, but still a little bit of space creation. It's just like last time. They'll be okay with trading a singleton death at home. He's just going to head on out. A lot of heroes missing off the map. Look at Dire Vision, and they're pretty blind. They saw a little uh, little glimpse. Oh, never mind. That was just the mini-map for our, our hacker vision here as spectators. So everyone going to back up, play defensively. Aces Polar, very good map sets. FNG will get caught out. Hiding in the tree line here. Probably felt pretty safe. Maybe even anticipating a smoke rotation. Just not sure which direction it's coming from. They're not done yet, though. Axe hasted up, but will get charged by Mag. Multiple fights breaking out. His Phobos on the back line getting initiated on. Drops the ultimate. Still no kills for Aces Polar yet. Mag getting very low. Forev goes in. They lose the Axe, but get the kill on the Spirit Breaker. Illidan has an Aegis of the Immortal. Already used the BKB. Will just disengage. One for two, MVP Phoenix finally finding a good exchange, but it's not over yet. They've got a lot of low health heroes. Aces Polar could try to reinitiate. Dean goes in, finds the kill onto the Sky Wrath, but it will cost him his life. Illidan looking for the right angle. Doesn't really want to waste the Aegis here. Unless good, can Polar's team really push? It's not like it's not so the great. hardest. I mean, yeah, Illidan hits pretty dang quick on a structure. If they want one simple glyph, though, and not going to do a whole lot, but at least charging in. He sees blood. He wants to get a hold of Forever here. 
Up His top. Aegis is gone, but they move on Swap in. on the QO, right into a silence, a charge flying through, and oh my gosh, the Skywrath Mage doing so much work against the Ember. Now the fight you were looking at down bottom, Illidan just drops the axe, it looks like. Yeah, nice little, very easy solo takedown, but now I don't think he's going to get away scot-free here. Both supports now, working both sides. Illidan, big damage. Ooh, oh, there it is, Phobos. Still not the fight that MVP wanted, it's a one- Looks like they're going to heal up for Ev here so they can go for a potential engagement. But QO, maybe being a bait here in the front lines, does run it all the way back. Mag, potentially going to charge on through. Oh, the Earth Spike is going to be missing there from the Lion. As he does not do it, but QO not done yet. Remnants all the way in. Long ball. Catches the chains on two. Lil, there's our dunk we've been waiting for. For Ev finally gets himself on the board with that one. And with the extra bit of move speed, they move on forward. FNG could be potentially caught out. Can they catch him up with the slow there? They're all able to get a hold of him. Another dunk. Back to back dunks coming out, but Phobos fires right back from above with the lightning. And now for Ev, going to be dropping thereafter. Phobos picks up a sweet double. Once more, it's a two for two. They see that ward as Phobos. Nobody wants to score up against a double damage Ursa. But no, Aces Polar looking to bait this out. Now QO nice coming in, sleight of fish. FNG drops the stun. Fire Remnant forward. Illidan trying to go man mode with him, but he'll just fire Remnant around. Mag in the front lines with the BKB on. It's nice Rev taking a lot of damage. Zeus attack. drops the ultimate. Still no kills yet. Phobos almost goes down. Dire gets the kill on Rose. Oh he my god, what a bash! He does get the Sunder off. Very nice. Made the last second, but now March desperate to pull back the damage and they are able to take down that first life now they move on in and here comes march it took so long to debut but he is finally here and now trying to take it in getting pushed back illidan trying to take down the beast they're trying to help him out now pushing on forward bkb pop march walking away getting healed up and they turn it back they get a five-man wipe on their side mvp oh, they waited so long for this moment but go for a battle fury ends up picking up drum of endurance now into a yasha probably a mantis style coming out for him is mvp smoke with all five heroes in the mid lane. Metamorphosis is ready and and they're looking to make use of it. They're going to cross pass. Wave does fly out as they get scouted, but there we go. Slide of fist, chains, FNG could be in trouble. And here comes the big bad terror blade. Right clicks are dishing on out. They are able to drop two. Very nice. And now Illidan focus fire onto March. March trying to get away. He's silenced up. He will be brought down. They slay the Titan. And now it's going to be Polar on the return as they wipe down four. They're looking to try to get five on the QO, but he is able to walk his way out. Oh, or is he? No. Do they though? Yeah, maybe. Let's take a look at Radiant. There's team. He's there got we it. go. Yeah, yeah, that's my gem now. Okay. Um, they'll go ahead and take out the ward. So a good pick. They get both supports, uh -oh. but the gem. How long is he going to keep that gem? Here oh, comes oh. a mag. He wants it. He needs that mag. And the ultimate from Zeus. They really want this gem back. Illidan coming in. Down goes for Ev. He will die to the nether strike. The gem has been reclaimed. But for how long? QO coming in. Searing chains onto Illidan. Mag on the run is March. Starting to drop the hammer. Gets hit by a reflection. The gem will hit this deck once more. And Chendra says, hey, give me that back. Hot potato, hot potato with that gem as they continue to hand it off one to another. But man. MVP picked up the gem, but I think it's on the courier right now. Yeah, so they won't have the detection to find him. He probably doesn't know that, but that will influence his movements here. Ooh, ooh. And finds QO. Has that sheep charge is coming. He's just going to wait a little bit, and this is going to be a sweet grab. There's the sheep out. Big old pig. Clicks and boom, right in the face. QO. Oh, but the hex the other way. The frog will stop Illidan dead in his tracks. Doesn't matter. Ends up being a two for nil. Zeus getting credit for that dominating streak on the Ember Spirit. Ryzen, not out of the clear yet. Illidan blinks over the tree line. Four staff from Ryzen, buys him some time, but now the charge from Mag. Axe says, see you later, friend. I'm getting the hell out of here. We have a three for nil. All set up by that invisibility rune on Illidan. Refreshing. Are they going to look to contest, though? I right, know. Are they going to have the time to go for it? This is the last time they pulled out a very successful fight. This is the MVP vision we're looking at right here. And they know something's running amok. They've got an Alpha Wolf going on in to scout it. And they'll see Roche has a little bit of HP at least. Oh, it's done for. A back will be on Illidan, but they won't be able to finish it off. Slide of Fist flies out. Little Hardy a bit of trouble right there. Forced to high ground and gets zapped on down. But here comes Illidan with that Aegis on hand. He looks the person on forward. Actually, the Aegis in the hand of Zeus. March could be in trouble here. Has the Sunder, but he's almost locked down into the point and silenced up, sheeped up. He can't do anything. He is brought down. Now for Ev dies as well. It's looking bad for MVP. Refreshes the ultimate. It's a five man wipe. His aces, Polar, make it happen and drop the hammer all over MVP Phoenix.
This point, it's Radiant gonna be do or die. Well, final hurrah. Buyback status is here. Radiant Not looking so hot on the Radiant side. They do have a couple at their disposal and may need to burn them. Terrorblade will go ahead and do so as the Glyph already comes out. Aces Polar in the front lines. BKB available for Ursa. Down to five seconds, but still ready to stay aggressive. Here he goes. Hops on in. Hex on to Heath. Revs there with the Berserker's call to find some time to swap back, but it's Aces Polar with the aggression. They're pushing this Radiant side back towards their well. Exposing the barracks, March coming out forward, Radiant stunned up by the bench. Nice line stun from the lion. A beautiful taunt from Barab, but it's going to cost him his life. He can't take the heat, and he's going to go six feet under. Now Illidan on the run. That Ibbots is taking him low. They can't finish him off, though. DK Bobo's BKB on, brings down the lion. March gets off a of Sunder, gets him some HP. Bobo's in some trouble. Radiant Remember, he's Bobo's got the Aegis. It's a two for two. Aegis on the back. The cheese was delivered from the courier and given to Illidan. And they turn this around. March getting low. He doesn't have a Sunder. Mash getting back to back bashes. Oh my god, I caught a mash. <laughs> They'll burn the Aegis. And it looks like MVP will hold on for now. DK Bobo's using that Shiva's and won't be able to find a kill with it or connect. QO gets initiated on by Illidan. Illidan lets him go away, and that means they can go to the barracks. No glyph, they get the range, and it looks like Aces Polar will get what they came for when this all started. It is the mid lane of barracks after forcing two buybacks. A push or two away from striding their way into the lower bracket finals. Or actually, the grand finals. Yeah, lower bracket finals. No, this is, this is, <laughs> the winner of this will be secured in the grand finals. Okay. I, Believe. No, 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 wait, this is the uh -oh. You're confusing me here. Now. Uh -oh. I'm is blown up there. We'll talk about it after the game. Barab and QO just get destroyed by Phobos. He's got so much damage. It's a fast four for Nil. Enchantress barely lives, but they know where she is. They're going to chase her down. Shivas will barely clip her. Illidan comes flying through. Another five man wipe in exchange for none. MVP Phoenix on the back foot to say the least. Winner of that will be secured the best of five. And uh, maybe that's something we have to talk about soon. Is now Aces Polar move into the Radiant base. Backdoor protection by MVP. A little bit of time. They have no buybacks available. Axe and Lion up in about 10 seconds, but crippling damage to be done. The glyph not cooled down yet, not coming up anytime soon. This will be at least one lane of barracks and probably more. MVP Phoenix on the brink of elimination here from Star Ladder Season 11. Polar continuing the trend of the 2 0 game streaks. Clear out the tier three and what looks like the final set of racks. You see, they're just manhandling these racks. Yep, Megas Radiant's are upon us. MVP will hang into the bitter end. Looks like this will be our final fight to swap forward. And oh, okay, he will survive, but Ace is not even going for the tier fours. They want heroes. They want to end this one in style. They are ready to fight. And they're going to back it on out. Here we go. He comes in. X on the mag. Now the initiation. Illidan goes flying in. Finds an illusion. Not the target he wanted, but Zeus. First ultimate flies through. They get the kill on Lion Ryzen, and they've had it up. GG. Well played. The Korean team eliminated as Aces Polar moves on to the next round. Beautifully done from them. I mean, we had great banners there from MVP. Good luck coming up next. Absolutely. I mean, they played very, very well through this tournament. You know, day one, people were thinking, uh-oh, MVP, it's, it's going to be the same story as the last time they came to Star Ladder. But, man, they put together some solid wins against some solid teams. But now we were going to see Asus Polar, your victors now. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. There is little it can do. Dominate! Radiant's bottom tower is fading fast. Dyer's top tower is under attack.